Okay, so today we're gonna make a video about the mythic Plasmata in Shadowlands Season 1. Today is January the 12th, and this is basically very fresh data. This is. I took this like an hour ago from Radio, and so the first thing I wanted to do is see what is what is the 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 average meta yeah, for for just Mythic 10. So this is all data for Mythic 10 and higher. This is across 1,040,128 players. And let's take a look first on the tanks. There we have it: 50,000 Demon Hunter, 42,000. Paladins, they are basically in the top tier. Then we have a huge gap to the mid tier, which is filled with Monk, Death Knight, and Druid, like both between 22 and 24,000. And then we have the bottom tier with Warriors, 12,400. Doesn't mean that the Warrior is, is bad. You can still finish your Mythic 10, but it is definitely a little bit harder, or definitely harder than. For example, going with a Protection Paladin or a Demon Hunter. Let's come to the healers. There we have it as well. We have a top tier dominated by two classes. This time the Restoration Druid and the Restoration Shaman. Both around 53 and 55,000. We have 31,000 Paladins. We have 26,000 Discipline Priests and 21,000 Holy priests, if you combine these numbers, these numbers for the specs, you end up with like 48,000 priests. So basically priest is also a top tier healer, but um, yeah, I wanted to break it down into specs. It is, it is, uh, it also avoids that I do a mistake with putting these numbers together. <laughs> But as I said, Priest is also a top tier healer when it comes to Mythic 10 and higher. So the bottom tier is Monk with 14,000. Still viable, but also as Warrior, definitely harder to find a group with this one. So then we have the melee DPS. Let's take a look on these numbers. We have 47,000 Death Knights with the Unholy spec, and then we have a, a gap. And what you can see is we have a we have a very filled mid tier, like 34,000 Paladins, 34,000 Demon Hunters, 33,000 Arms Warriors, 32,000 Monks, 30,000 Rogues with Outlaw spec, and 26,000 Rogues with Sub spec. And if you combine the Rogues here, you end up with 50, 56,000 rogues, so rogue is basically the, the, the absolute top tier. And I think uh, warrior is also a little bit higher because uh, few also play fury. So this is also viable. Fury is not on the list here anymore. Um, it is below the, the, the shaman, which I have listed here as bottom tier already. 16,500 almost enhancement shamans. Mm, yeah. You get you get the you get the picture. So let's come to the range DPS. Here we have basically um, Marksman Hunter on the top place with eighty seven thousand. Then the Druid with its balanced Druid with uh, almost sixty thousand, fifty six thousand Fire Mages. And this is basically the top tier. Then in the mid tier we have the priest, the shadow priest with 43,000. Um, the affliction warlock with 33,000. And then we have another gap to the elemental shaman with 21,000. The beastmaster hunter, 21,000 almost. And 18,000 destruction warlocks. So let's take a, next, let's take a breath there. Take a few seconds to, to take a look on this. I think what you can see is that for Mythic 10 and, and higher, it's still pretty balanced. Yeah? We have a lot of choices. We have basically all choices for tanks and healers. Everybody is there. It's not like that one class is totally underpowered. I would say that probably if Warrior would be only at around 2000 or 3000, then it would need a buff. But you can also see what is working really well, Yeah, what is completely overpowered. Take a look at the hunter. 
Probably the rogue. And I think um when you when you make a group, yeah, don't look so much on what is top tier, what is what is bottom tier or whatever, yeah. If you have for example as a DPS you, you might have problems to find a group, then just make your own group and invite whatever class fits but in the end it all comes down to people and having the right attitude is always more important than playing the right class so if someone is willing to wipe with a worse class than the top tier class that makes you that gives you a higher chance to come complete the run so this was for mythic 10 and higher let's take a look on the the real pros yeah what is mythic 20 and higher so here we have way less people way less players this is just 862 some of them will definitely go to blizzcon so this is basically the top of the top and let's take a look on the tanks there we have it the data we have 118 demon hunters and demon hunters basically in a league of its own and all the other tanks are basically yeah exceptions uh, we have 15 druids 11 monks 9 paladins 4 death knights and 3 warriors but even if you combine them all they are not even at half what demon hunters are at so demon hunter definitely the go to tank if you if you want to go if you want to push for for higher mythic keys let's see for the healers mm, there's a little a little bit more balance we have 73 restoration shamans and what you notice is the, the the druid which was really good for mythic 10 and higher when it comes to mythic 20 is is not that good anymore or hasn't finished that many dungeons um we have 44 paladins holy paladins 29 druids 24 discipline priests, 3 monks, and 1 holy priest. So, holy priest also worse in, in higher tiers, in, in, in lower, in, in mythic 10, it's, it's still viable, but in mythic 20 and higher, nobody plays, or just one guy plays holy priest. So, yeah, props to him. <laughs> Let's take a look on the, on the melee DPS. Um, there you have it. 72 outlaw rogues also top tier yeah 48 monks mid tier and then you have a huge gap and you see it 15 unholy death knights so unholy which was good in mythic 10 is now bottom tier um we have 11 sub rogues sub rogues also worth in, in higher mythic five demon hunters four arms warriors three fury warriors and three enhancement shamans so safe to say that rogue is the rogue and probably monk are the the best melee dps for high keys so then let's take a look on the range dps let's see where our hunter is yeah he is not the the absolute best anymore fire mages are now there are 134 fire mages 103 marksman hunters and 99 balanced druids now uh, balanced druid also really strong in high tiers and then we have a really really huge gap uh, 15 warlock with the affliction spec 13 shadow priests one elemental shaman one destruction warlock so when it comes to mythic 20 and higher these are these are basically your your go-to classes yeah demon hunter tank probably a restoration shaman outlaw rogue and one of the or two of the of the of the range dps you can also say that this list is is not 100 percent accurate yeah because uh rating is still fresh and most of this uh is a little bit um affected by the item level you looted from the raid so basically if your class was good in the raid you have more item level and your class performs better obviously but um yeah this is just to get an overview of what is going on right now in mythic plus and this is the first time i made this kind of video and 
I think for the future, um, I will add a little bit more uh, data and a little bit more, make it a little bit more viewable and try to make this kind of experience a little bit better for you. And yeah, we all have to start somewhere. So this was the first Mythic Plus meta video for Shadowlands Season 1. And yeah, hope you had a good time. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you.